When you're an entrepreneur for the first time, you really don't know what you don't know. Hi, I'm Daniel Marcos. I've been an entrepreneur for the last 23 years, starting and scaling my companies. And I've been surprised how many times I talk with entrepreneurs that they really don't know what they don't know. And this, I, let me clarify with a story. Uh, once I was hiring a coach that I was introduced to this coach for the first time, and we're having our conversation kind of to know each other, see if we want to work with each other. And before I start kind of asking questions, he said, hey, can I ask one question before we start? And I was like, yes, of course. He said, is this your first company? And I was like, no, it's my third. And he said, okay, great. And I was like, why is that important? He said, I don't work with entrepreneurs for the first time. I said, why not? He said, because those entrepreneurs, they don't know what they don't know. You already know what you don't know because you've been through the process a couple of times. So you know exactly what you're missing. If you're running and scaling a company for the first time, you have no idea what you're missing. That's why coaches and mentors are so important when you're scaling your company. One of the tools that I've used since I started my business that really helped me understand what I don't know and how to really do everything I need to do as a CEO is this Rockefeller Habits checklist. You could download on the link below. When I started scaling my companies and asking for guidance, someone guide me to this one page Rockefeller Habits checklist. And it's been amazing because I really don't know if I was having mixed spots or I was missing something being leading my team. And then when I start reading it, it just gave me a lot of clarity of what do I have to do. As an example, number one, the executive team is healthy and aligned. The team members understand each other's differences, priorities, and styles. I had never asked that question. And when I, when I got the question, when I got the checklist, I began going through it. It really helped me analyze what I was doing and really making sure I was going on the right direction and be able to quantify it correctly. Do you have core values? Do you have the number one goal? Everyone should be aligned. Do you have uh, a way to collect data from your clients and your customers? Uh, do you have the purpose of the company, the core values? Are they alive in the company? All the things that you have to do as a leader. It just gives you a checklist, very, very simple, that you could go through it and be able to uh, understand if you're doing everything you need to do or you're missing something. And that really gave me a lot of confidence that I was leading the team with the right tools to really be able to scale my company and take it to the next level. So when you go through the checklist, don't worry if you cannot check a lot of them. Most of the companies, when they go through it for the first time, they probably check six to eight of them. But what it's important is that make a commitment to every quarter or every month, just choose one and start implementing. And that gives them a lot of confidence how to lead their team to be able to scale their company. All right, thank you for your time. I hope this really helps. And if you could recommend this to someone that you think they need the checklist, if you could put their name uh, below. And of course, like the video so we could go to many, many other entrepreneurs and help them scale their impact and reduce the drama. Thank you very much.